Hello and welcome to All Things Sky Blue. Uh, this is our second uh, pre-season uh, YouTube uh, show that we're putting out there this year. Obviously, the first one was uh, for the goalkeepers. And now we're going to be moving on to the left wing back position. Uh, again, today, I'm joined by Danny. Hiya, Danny. You okay? Hello. Hello. Yeah, good. Thank you. Yourself? Lovely. And also by Mr. Shale. Hola. How are we? How are we? Not too bad. How are you? Good, thank you. All good, mate. All good. Can't wait to talk good. all things Sky Blue. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Uh, so, as you can see uh, on the ticker down the bottom, uh, we are on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, as well as YouTube. Uh, we are partnered with the Anecdote uh, Sports Bar. So, you know, always a good drink, uh, a meal in there if you ever need to, seven days a week. They've got TV screens in there as well. So always good to go and watch a bit of sport as well if you need to. Um, so obviously today, boys, uh, talking about the left wing back position, spoke about the goalkeepers last week. Uh, so moving on to the uh, outfield players now. Um, so how do you firstly, how do you guys feel about the left wing back position? Do you think it's something that we need to sort out or not? Go to Josh first. Yeah, I mean, I said before we sort of went live, I, I sort of said that obviously with the signing of Jada Silva, I think that changes things. Um, if you ask me who should start the first game next season, I would say Bidwell for now. But I think in Bidwell and De Silva, I can, you know, bearing in mind if Bidwell doesn't, you know, get those links with Birmingham in January, if Bidwell stays put, I would be happy with him, um, you know, him and, and De Silva basically being our, our two strongest wing backs. The thing that's annoyed me about that position recently in the past five, six years, there's always seemed to be a loan in there, a young loan like Giles, McCallum. I sort of feel like now's the time to have two permanent ones that battle it out. So no spoilers intended, but my picks are very much, you know, idealistic. And, you know, one of them's a little bit like, if we must. I'm okay. very, very, I'm very, very content with Bidwell and De Silva being our two left wing backs. You know, if we're, if we're challenging for mid-table, I think they're fine. Challenging for playoffs, I think they're fine. I think we're we're really in a really good place with those two as our as our two main contenders for that position. Okay, brilliant. How about you, Danny? How do you feel about that position? Uh, yeah, I quite like you. We've got the the Silvers got plenty of experience uh, with Bristol City, so I was really happy with that signing. Again, Bidwell's a lot of championship experience. But I think this season, I think we, they, we want to play a bit more attacking. As on our wing backs tend to be on that side a bit defensive, so that's why I, I think Bidwell may move on because I think we're looking to change it slightly. Um, but as Josh mentioned, really that those two players are, are solid. They've got plenty of games between them, and if we were to keep them two players, I think they could certainly do a good job for us. I think okay, it's worth mentioning as well, Stuart, just just quickly. I think, you know, me personally, Bidwell has grown on me. Bidwell a year, 18 months ago, I didn't rate him at all. But I think he's, like Danny said, he's built himself into a to a stage where he's just well-rounded. He's a 7 out of 10 every single game without a fail. And I think for that reason, I think he's got to be in with a shout. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To be fair, boys, um, I do agree. Um, you know, I think um, I, I think Jake, like you said, Jake Bidwell is a solid seven out of ten uh, each and every week. And you know, I, I think he started off slow, especially when he first come. Uh, but he's definitely grew in that position. Not the most attacking fullback, you know, uh, and he does pass sideways and and uh, and backwards probably a little bit too much in in my eyes. Uh, but no, um, you know, if if we, you know, to Silver and Bidwell, uh, I don't think we can really argue, to be fair. Uh, I think they're, you know, they're two good shouts uh, and can do different jobs in that same position, which is good as well. Uh, but obviously we are, we are here to, uh, to talk about transfers and stuff, uh, but we will stick with Bidwell. Um, and, uh, and obviously he has got five assists 
He has scored one goal in all uh, in all competitions, uh, which is good going, uh, really. Do you, you know, how do you, how do, I know obviously you've said that he's a seven out of 10, but do you think he can add to that? Do you think he'll add to that next year? Listen, I, I don't think Bidwell's ever going to be the, the wing back that is going to take men on. He's never going to try and, you know, take it around a, de- a defender or someone pressing him. He's never going to do that. He's always going to try to pass and move, get as high up the 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 sort of byline as possible, and he's going to whip it in. You know, he, I know a couple of games last season. I think he tried the outside of the foot shot, didn't really come off. But he's never going to be that sort of that Martin like player that can you know that can just score from you know that Fulham game when Martin scored. He's never going to be that sort of player. Um, but what I will say is that. Again, he's he's solid defensively. I think he's one of the best defenders at the club. His crossing, I don't rate that much. But again, his his attitude, his professionalism, I think it goes a long way. Uh, but to answer your question, Stuart, I don't I don't see him adding much to his game. But if you're looking for that sort of, you know, that that calm head, you know what you're gonna get with him every season. And I suppose with our summer coming up, we've got so much change. A lot of players are probably going to go out. We need 10, 12 in. I think maybe keeping Bidwell could be a good move to sort of give you that sort of... Um, just that... You know what you're going to get with him. You know, it, it gives you it gives you that yeah. sort of solidarity in, in that sense. Yeah, totally agree. How about you, Dan? Yeah, I, I sort of agree. I don't think he's... He's going to get much better than he is. He's just like a steady model professional, really. Like you say, seven out of ten each week. Doesn't cause any trouble. Like, just gets on with his job. Uh, I totally agree. I, Bidwell's become one of my favourite players, to be honest. Because he, yeah, he, he was getting a lot of stick. But he does everything right on the pitch. He doesn't get forward that much at times, but... I'm sure Swansea with the Swansea fans were saying the same about him. They were saying he's not that player that will bomb on and take people on. But I think this season is really come into his own after yeah, a sort of tricky changed, first season. I think he's changed a lot of people's opinions to be fair. Uh just yeah. with his solidness, which is which is good. Um obviously another uh, young um left wing back that we had uh was uh, Wilson S. Brand. Um he had a few games. He kind of, I think, I felt that he went out of favour towards the back end for whatever reason that may have been. It could be the fact that Bidwell, uh, you know, was Mr. Consistent um, and he uh, and he wanted that, uh, you know, solidarity, like you said, Josh, uh, a minute ago. So how, how did uh, Wilson uh, fare? You know, he is only 20. He's still only young. So how do you think he did? Do you want to go first on this one, Danny? Yeah, yeah. I thought he he was hit and miss at times. I thought he was, I don't know, there was games where he came on and he looked like he was going to take men on and do things and the, the last touch sort of went wrong and defensively at times he was, I think it was Stoke, where the guy just walked past him for the fourth goal. Um, he wasn't brilliant defensively at times. Um, and I, he was, it wasn't the best of loan spells for him. Um, like you say, he was, he played a couple of games and then he was taken back out. And then I think we tried him as playing just off the, I think we tried him in the sort of advanced role at times. I don't think the loan worked in all honesty. Josh, yeah, again, we've, we've sort of spoken behind the scenes about this and. Me and Stu are sort of opposites. I think it's fair to say that I was never a fan of Wilson S. Brand. Stuart was never a fan of Norton Coffee. I've got to say, though, for Wilson S. Brand, I think the reason that I never took a liking to him is I couldn't I couldn't understand for the life of me why he's being brought on in, in, in you know, that cam position, that number 10 position. I know that we're missing Casey at times, we're missing O'Hare, but I couldn't for the life of me sort of fathom why he'd be put there. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do anything for me. Um, but when he was playing in that left wing back position, I think I actually think he got better. I really do. And I think if you were to ask me now if we'd have him back for a year, I'd say yes. Um, 
and that's a complete U-turn from when we first signed him in Jan. Um, but I think he is one of those players that sort of needs that, you know, extended period of games to get that, to get the best out of him, if that makes sense. You know, it's no yeah, good. Yeah, completely. It's no good playing him one week and, you know, next week dropping him, then bring him off the bench to play in that number 10 position. I think he needs that run of games, eight, nine games where you play him left wing back, you know, let him do his stuff. I do think he got better, uh, I've got to say. Yeah, I, look, I don't think it's going to be, um, I don't think he's going to be a permanent signing because he's still contracted at Man City till 2027 anyway. Uh, you know, so that's a long term deal. So Man City, you know, see some in him. I think he may have even played uh, a Champions League game, possibly uh, in the qualifiers and well, yeah, not qualifiers, but in the uh, in the earlier rounds. You know, so they've got to see something in him uh, for for that sort of length of contract. Um, but look, I, I would I would I would happily have him back um, on a, on a loan deal. Uh, I don't think there's any way that there would be a permanent. Um, but uh, but yeah, how do you feel about Wilson, Danny? Yeah, I was I was thinking there was a, there might be a potential of us getting him back because because his loan spell was so short and he didn't really play that many games. But I think Josh is right. I think he needs a run of games. He needs to be, he needs to play all the time to show his potential. Just putting him in for a little bit and taking him out isn't isn't really going to help. Um, but he, yeah, he has played at the top level at, in Champions League games and he, he's plays with all the Man City first team. So he's got, he's playing with a lot of sort of highly rated players and it just didn't, I don't know, I, I, I don't think he really got that much of a chance in all honesty in games. I think there was times where we could have probably bought him on in matches, but we just didn't, we didn't go for it. But I don't know. I, I I don't think he could possibly come back because he, again he wouldn't really be guaranteed a a start next season with the silver signing. So I think he might yeah, go to another championship club. Yeah, I I think you're right. To be fair, like, like I said, I I would like to see him back. Uh, you know, as cover uh, potentially, and we don't necessarily want three. Um, you know, left wing backs as such, really. Uh, but uh, but but you never know. Obviously, uh, it is transfers. Uh, so we've got to talk about our very first signing that we've uh, done this year uh, in De Silva. Um, so De Silva, uh, obviously, signed a four-year deal. So 2027, his contract ends. Last year, he only got one assist, though. Didn't play. There was a huge chunk of that season where he didn't play. Fell out of favour. And that's why in January, obviously, he was linked with us anyway. Um, how do you feel about the new signing coming in, Josh? Well, I think firstly, Stuart, I think it's right what you say about him sort of falling out of favour, but so was Casey Palmer and Nigel Pearson and Lee Johnson. And, you know, I think he's been, you know, until he got injured, I think he was, I think he was absolutely fantastic. I do, Casey Palmer. I think with the silver, you've got to bear in mind that if you play for the Chelsea Academy until the age of, you know, 20, 21, maybe a little bit earlier, you've got something about you. There's something in there. The potential just needs, just needs to be unlocked. I think that, again, it goes without saying, he's probably coming to the best club he possibly could do. You know, I think, obviously, Aidan with the Chelsea connection, I think Robbins knows exactly how to get the best out of players. I don't think he could have made a better move. I really, really don't. Um, and like I say, I think from what I've heard and from snippets I've seen, so not, not the greatest sort of representation, but from what I've seen, he could be pushing on for that first that first team shirt. He really could. Um and I I think there's a lot to be said as well for us getting in there early. We've been linked with him since January. Um I think we tried some way somehow to get him in. It didn't work out. Fair enough. But we've got in there early in the summer, which is good to see. And you know, I don't want to go off topic to it. Um but to the fans, you know, annoyed at the minute with the lack of activity. Let's remember, we've already made a sign-in. There's still teams out there that haven't done anything. They've done naff all. We've got a sign-in in. For me, again, in my opinion, we've got our two wing-backs of the season on the left. That, that, that to me, is sorted now. And I think that, again, the Silver can push, 
can, can push Bidwell for uh, that, that starting lineup place. Okay, cool. Danny? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. He's, he's played 70 games in two seasons, so um, he's played a lot of games for Bristol. I think he he did fall out of favour. I, I don't know who it was, but someone took over his position, but he sort of kept he kept himself sort of there, thereabouts on the bench, and he, I think he, he played towards the end of the season. Um, I think he was on the verge of signing for us, but um, Bristol couldn't bring in a player at the end of the window. They they wanted to bring in a player from uh, Wimbledon, AFC Wimbledon, but that deal wouldn't. They Wimbledon wanted the player to, I think, a loan back, so that he couldn't be released to sign for us. Uh, but like Josh mentioned, he, straight away, like within, like when the when he wanted to sign for us, so it proves that he wants to play for us. I think he knows, like you say, he knows Bivash. He knows. I think he knows Sheaf because every Instagram post he likes. Ben Sheaves post, so I think he know he knows him. Um, so it's a like he's, he mentioned, it's a great fit. I I feel cool, excellent. Wow, all positives there on the new sign in. So that's that's good to hear. Um, so obviously uh, the, the the task that I was to come up with three names uh, that you would like to see transfers coming in. Uh, just bear in mind, everybody that does listen to this. Um, please like and subscribe. The transfers that we mention, and the same for the goalkeepers and the same for the future positions, are just our opinions. We don't know anything. We're not in the know. Uh, they're just our opinions and, and what we feel that's out there that we've seen uh, on you know on social different social media sites and who's available on transfermarket.com and things like that as well. So don't take these for gospel. We don't we don't know anything. We're not in the know. These are just are transfers that we possibly like to bring in. Uh, so on that then, Josh, do you want to go first and give us your first name? Well, believe it or not, the initials are LB. Stuart, I think you know who I'm going to say. Lee Buchanan. We've been linked with this guy for about 18 months, maybe a bit longer. He was at Derby. Uh, he's gone over to Germany. I said, when this dropped, I think, I'm sure Stuart was about six months in. And I said to Stuart, we've got to sign this guy. You know, the links were really strong. He always impressed me at Derby. Solid left wing back. I think he's only 22, 23 years old. He is the sort of player that could play for us for a good number of years. I think he's only, get, only going to get better. Um, what he would cost, I don't know. I don't know what his contract situation is. I don't know if Danny or, or you know Stuart. But um, I would definitely be looking to bring him in. And again... We don't know about this. This is just sort of rumour and innuendo. But if we get the Jokeres money, I would definitely be thinking bring that sort of player in. You know, it probably wouldn't... I don't think it costs more than a couple of million. Well, I say that. 1.5 max. I think he's the sort of guy that could really, really do well for us. OK, well, I've done a little bit of homework on Lee because I thought you'd mention him anyway. Um, so he is contracting until 2026. Um, so, you know, he's still got a good few years to go there. Uh, but he has only scored one goal in 21 games. Does that fill you with any confidence? From left wing back? Yeah. If he scored zero, it wouldn't bother me. How many assists? Uh, zero assists. Wow. Sort of ruined my spot now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was there. Sorry, he was man. there. Um no, but we've seen it at the Rico a couple of times. He's he's looked lively. He's got thought forward well. Um, and again, he's he's a left wing back. Let's bear in mind, I don't think we spoke about this. Jake Bidwell, Jake Bidwell is not a natural uh, left back. Uh, he's not a natural left wing back. He's a left back. Um, I think having that natural left wing back in there would, would serve us well, especially again, with us bringing so many different players in for so many different positions. I think he's the sort of player we need to try and get if we can. Yeah, and and like you said, he's only young. He is only 22, um, so he is young. And, you know, I'm sure he'll grow in that position. And with, you know, with fighting with, you know, with De Silva, uh, if he does come in, you know, if Buchanan comes in, it's only going to serve as well with two young, hungry left wing backs fighting that, for that position to be number one. That's what we want, isn't it? You know, uh, moving Absolutely. on then, Danny, who's your number one? Well, I'm going to go with, again, it's someone we've been linked with at the moment. 
a guy called Morgan Fox. He's 29 years of age, released by Stoke. Uh, plenty of championship experience. Um, we've just been linked with him. Linked with him, he wouldn't cost anything. But again, he, he could be possibly like a, a Bidwell sort of sign-in. Um, that's that's my, sort of my third least person I'd like. But he was linked, so I thought I'd just bring that one up. He could be an okay, option. Well, jo- Josh, Josh isn't happy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get my diary... Hang on, one sec. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that way. You see that's it? That's why, because he's got him yeah. in his diary. Yeah. Uh, he didn't see my last one. talk about him as well. I that's thought he was... Uh, how, how, do you, how do you feel about him then, Josh? How do you feel yeah, about go on. him? No, again, he's one of those players I've seen at the week. I think he's 29 when I looked, when I looked it up. You know, he's going he's gonna to have a good few years at the top. And I think, you know, again, that experience in the championship, you, I would like to see those two experienced left wing backs going at it all year, you know, with the Christmas fixtures coming up, you know, sort of, you know, alternating. I think, you know, iron sharpens iron. I think it's about time we have two of our own left wing backs in that slot. I really don't want any more loans. I really don't. Go on, Danny, I'm sorry. Ha- uh, no, I'm happy with what he said. I, I, I thought he was uh, not nodding that he didn't want Morgan Fox, but yeah, that's, I, what, I, that's what I thought as well. I, I totally agree. I totally agree with what he's saying. Two pers- two people to to yeah. fight for the shirt. That's what and we again, need. Danny, again, Danny, like you said, he's on a free. So yeah, you don't need to worry about transfer fees. I don't know what sort of wage you'd be on, but it can't be much more than Bidwell, surely. No, Less, I'd, no, I'd no. say. Three assists last season, 40, 40 championship games last year. So I think that one's just a no-brainer. Well, he's surely somebody we're looking at. But again, he's got he's got no resale value, which I think we sort of we look at players like Buchanan, yeah. where he's got a resale value. Yeah. Uh, well, we didn't necessarily with Bidwell, did we? Uh, initially, no. you know, I don't think they looked at any resale value for him. Uh, but talking about free transfers and talking about no-brainers, I'm going to mention my first one. Uh, and obviously, this was mentioned on the Twitter space on Sunday night as well. Uh, and I've been harping after him ever since I knew he was becoming a free agent this year. And that's Ryan Manning uh, from Swansea. I know he's probably destined for the Premier League, lower-end Premier League, maybe. But he's still available. Um, and I think we need to go all out for this guy. He's 27, free transfer. Uh, he got five goals and 10 assists last season for the left wing back position. I don't think you can ask for any more, really. You know, he was he was a stalwart. He can play in the left centre back position if we really needed him to uh, as cover. I think it. I think it kind of makes sense, really, that you know we have two permanent ones, uh, Jay De Silva and Ryan Manning. Um, I would like Bidwell as cover, but I understand it's a football game, and people need to move on to allow other people to come in. Um, but you know, like I said, I, I think I think Ryan Manning for me would be a no-brainer. I think he's brilliant. How guys do? You, how do you feel about that one, guys? I've just Danny. I've just... <laughs> I've just looked at his stats. 15 goal contributions in 43 games. He says it all, really, for a left wing back. I think I'm sure I remember him last season at the CBS. I'm sure oh, he's... He was yeah. Um, no, I, I, I totally agree with that one. It's just if it's if it's possible or not. But yeah, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, that, that's, that's, the, that's the only thing, isn't it? You know, if, um, if it's possible. Because like I said, with them sort of stats... You know, you are looking to to the Premier League, really. But like I said, nobody's slapped it up as far as I'm aware at this precise moment. Um, so, you know, like I said, I I, I love him. I, I'm a massive admirer of him, uh, and I, I think we should be going all out to get him. If I'm honest, uh, and you know, obviously, no disrespect to De Silva because he's only just come. Everybody's got a lot to prove, but he would he would be wearing that number three shirt without a shadow of a doubt for me because I think he's absolutely brilliant. Um, okay, so 
We'll go since uh, obviously Danny, you've upset Josh by saying his second one. We'll go to you, Danny, then for your second one, buddy. Yeah, this is one I don't know if anyone's mentioned him, and I actually think it's a possible signing we could make. Is Brandon Williams from Man United? He's got a year left on his contract. He's literally been playing next to no games last season. I think he's played 50 games for Man U and Norwich. I think he was on loan to Norwich the season before last. Um, he suits our transfer policy because he's young. He's sort of not in form and we could possibly make a, a profit on him. Um, one year left on his deal. Um, uncertain future at Man U. I don't think he'll cost a fortune. People will say, oh, he's at Man United and he'll cost a fortune. I don't think he will because look at the the, the Birmingham signed a couple of players for Man U or, or one of them. I think he'd possibly cost a million and a half, two million because he needs to rejuvenate his sort of career. So I, I just think that could be a, a good move for us. And he, he has got, I think he's got a little bit of an attitude problem, but again, it, it he's the sort of player where he could come to our club and Robbins and Vivash could sort him out and turn him into a, a good player so he can play in Premier League again. You mean knock the anger out of him? Yeah. So it's just, I, I actually think that's, I really do think that's a possibility, that signing. Um, can I just, yeah. can I just counter you, Danny? Uh, devil's advocate, I know it's not my job, so I should do it again. Um, that's all right. You said on the space, Danny, that we do every Sunday on Twitter, 9pm. Um, you said that we wouldn't pay three or four million pounds for a player. Would you pay two million for a left wing back? Uh, potentially. I, I don't think we'd go more than two million on players, but I think a million and a half, two million pounds on him at 22 years of age, I think would be good money for us because I think we'd make it back. Uh, but... I don't think we would go much more than two million on a player because I just think it will get. We're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think he's, he might not even cost that much. I think Man United want rid of him as well. Um, Man United aren't going to be after massive fees. They've got enough money anyway, so I don't think yeah. they'll make it difficult for him. But okay, okay, not not a bad shout, not a bad shout, Danny. Um, I'm going to counter your Brandon Williams. Um, another club uh, in the Premier League, another club that doesn't need money, and another player uh, that might ne- is at a bit of a crossroads himself. Uh, he's 25 years old. He's contracted till 2025. Uh, might be able to get him on a um, maybe on a loan or something like that. Potentially, I know you don't want a loan, Josh, but we might be able to get a loan out of him. And that's Jamal Lewis from Newcastle. Um, big money signing for Newcastle when he was at Norwich. Uh, I think it was like 16 and a half million euros, which I think equates to about 11 million or something. Um, you know, crossroads that you know, um, they've got Target there still. Uh, they've got Dan Byrne that's number one left back there at the moment. Uh, he's not getting a look in, and you know, with Champions League and everything else that they're going to be in. You know, that's another possibility and another shout of uh, another Premier League left wing back coming in. Because when he played for Norwich, you know, he was he was a massive player for Norwich when they went up, um, uh, obviously, a few years, a few seasons ago now, like. But, um, you know, he was a big player uh, and is, I think is a good shout. Again, I'm not sure how much they're actually going to want for him because he still has got another two years on his contract or 18 months or whatever it may be. Um, you know, but you, you've got to ask these questions, you know, to these to these sorts of players, you know, because they're going to want to play football uh, unless they're happy with just sitting there uh, on the bench. You know, I think they've got to play. They, they want to play football, really. How do you feel about that one, Josh? Yeah, I mean, if we can get him, absolutely. Um, he'd be, you know, shoulders and, you know, heads and shoulders above um, De Silva um, and Bidwell. I think if we were to get him, though, who would you... I assume you'd, you'd get rid of Bidwell or would you keep him as a centre-back, as cover, potentially? Yeah, I think, look, if we've got De Silva in anyway. I think whoever comes in, whether it's your Buchanan, um, you know, whether it's Jamal Lewis uh, or whether it's your man... Who did you... Uh, uh, Brandon Mason. No, not Brandon Mason. Brandon Williams, sorry. 
Brandon Mason. That's going back a few years. Um, Way back. I know. Um, you know, whoever we get in, somebody's going to have to go. Uh, because I think they're going to get proper centre-backs in to fill them centre-backs. Um, you know, so it's 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 a hard it's a hard one to call really what what they're actually thinking. They might be thinking the long lines of what you've just said, Josh, really, you know, and that's just sticking with Bidwell and, and De Silva and they might not, you know, go for that third that third one or potentially second if somebody it's gonna be Bidwell. Bidwell's gonna go um if they don't keep an on as as cover really, uh, which is a shame because like I said uh, I do quite like him. Um, OK, so Josh, then we'll go to your third one. So again, sort of reinforce your point, Stuart. Uh, I'm happy with Bidwell and, and De Silva. If we can get B- Buchanan in, brilliant. Um, if we can get Fox in, like Danny said, brilliant. Um, because we're a sucker for a, a Chelsea youngster, um, there's a Lewis Hall that plays for Chelsea, left wing back, 18 years old. I think there's there's sort of interest from Palace, uh, whether that be in a, a an academy um, sort of role or first team, I don't know. But it's just one that I saw and I thought, we might go for that. I, again, I wouldn't look to pursuit. Um, but if it came to it, that Chelsea connection could um, could come in favour. Yeah, not a, bad, not a bad shout at all, mate. Not a bad shout. Danny, who's your third? My third one is a guy from Lincoln. A guy called Sean Rowan, uh, 19. He's broken to their first team this season. He's made 32 appearances for them. Um, Lincoln had the, the fifth joint best defence in the league. Uh, he's had trials at Southampton and Chelsea. He went out on loan to, I think it's Drogheda in Ireland. Um, he's been offered a new deal. He's actually out of contract. He's been offered a new deal. Uh, which hasn't been signed yet. Um, so any signing would be a small compensation amount for us, which I think this signing's right up our street. He's again, he's only young, won't cost anything, and a chance to progress him, make money on him. He wouldn't, I don't think, be pushing and knocking on the door for a, a sort of a first team spot. Again, I think it's he's more of a replacement for Josh Reed, really, because. Josh Reed's, I think he's at a crossroads in his career with us as well. Um, so I think this lad Rowan could be a, an option for us. Okay, good shout, good shout. I like it. I like it. Um, okay, so my third then um, is a championship player. In nineteen games, he scored one goal and assisted one. Uh, he's contracted until twenty twenty four. And he's only 22. He's from Huddersfield. And his name's Ben Jackson. Um, the honest answer is, haven't seen much of him, if I'm honest. Can't really remember him when uh, we went to Huddersfield. And I can't remember him when he was here. He might have been the back end of the 19 games that he was playing, um, you know, after us. But um, he's young, hungry. He's only, like I said, he's only got a year left on his contract. So he might be available for a a bit of a cheaper fee, uh, if anything. Um, and he's already scored a goal and assist in the championship. So he can play at this level. Um, it's just whether uh, anybody wants to, I suppose, maybe want to take a punt on him. I know uh, Huddersfield were down the bottom, uh, but under Warnock, you know, he, he got them back up there uh, and they started to play quite good football. So, you know, I think he might be one that we could potentially look at as well, really. Um, so yeah, how do you feel about that one? I mean, I've not I've not heard of him, Stu. Would there be a fee involved? Do you reckon? Um... Yeah, I think there would be a fee because, like I said, he's still got a year left on his contract. Um, obviously, I don't know if there's any news come out in Huddersfield Post about renewing or anything. I don't know. Haven't seen anything. The last time I saw when I checked him out, um, he still had a year on his contract. Um, so. Uh, Again, no disrespect to Huddersfield or anything. I think they might be fighting down there again. Um, you know, is a player with a year on his contract to want to be doing that or want to, you know, push on to maybe a top 10 club like I, I feel we are? Um, 
you know. So it's, um, yeah, you know, it's again, it's, it's one that I've just put out there for, you know, for people to ponder uh, if they want to ponder. All right. Beautiful. Lovely. Real. Thank you very much, boys. Uh, so, as always at the end, uh, I'll let you know what position that we're going to look at into next. We're going to go the opposite side and we're going to talk about the right wing back position, uh, which, you know, the left wing back position for me was relatively quite easy just because we've been linked with so many people as well. And we'd already got so many people in that position already. Um, the right wing back, I'm actually really, really struggling with uh, who I've seen, who I think already. So I feel this one might be a little bit harder. I still want you to come up with three people for me, if you can. Um, don't worry if you can't, if you can only come up with two, uh, but three would be great. Um, so, yeah, right wing back position next week, boys. Um, please, everybody out there, like and subscribe. Uh, we are on, obviously, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, as you can see, that's scrolling along the bottom here. Uh, I'm Stuart Rendell, that's Danny White, and you've got Mr. Shale as well. Uh, we are all things sky blue. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you. Uh, this will be out on Sunday, roughly about 12 o'clock uh, on Sunday. And then the following week will be the Twitter space at nine o'clock, uh, as we always do. So again, we're alternating between the two. OK, thank you very much, Danny. Thank you very much. You, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you very much, Josh. Cheers, Stu. Top man. No worries, boys. And see you soon. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.